Feeling drained, unmotivated, and stuck in a cycle of endless exhaustion? You might think it was just stress, but it could be something more serious. Stress is your body's response to a challenge. It can be positive in small doses, pushing you to meet deadlines or tackle problems. But when stress becomes chronic and overwhelming, it can lead to burnout. While stress and burnout are often confused, they're not the same thing. Burnout is the result of prolonged unmanaged stress. It's characterized by emotional exhaustion, detachment from work or personal life, and a sense of reduced accomplishment. Unlike stress, which can often be alleviated by taking a break or resolving a particular issue, burnout requires a more comprehensive approach. If you're experiencing burnout, you're not alone, and there is a way out. In this video, we're diving deep into 10 proven steps to help you recover from burnout. And here's the intriguing part. It's as easy as pie. No, not the dessert, although that might help too. PI stands for physical, intellectual, and emotional, the three crucial areas of our lives affected by burnout. By addressing these holistically, we'll create a recovery plan that tackles burnout from every angle, helping you reset, re-energize, and reclaim your life. Are you ready to take the first slice of that recovery pie? Let's dive into our 10 steps, starting with the physical aspects of burnout recovery. Remember, this is a journey, and it's okay to take it one step at a time. Let's begin with our first step, taking a strategic break. Physical aspects of burnout. First, let's talk about taking a strategic break. This isn't just a quick coffee break. Depending on how severe your burnout is, you might need a few days or even a few weeks to really recover. I know what you're thinking. I can't possibly take that much time off. But trust me, your health needs to come first. If you're dead on the floor from a heart attack, what good are you? Schedule this downtime as soon as possible, even if it means postponing some non-urgent tasks. Next, let's focus on prioritizing self-care. When you're burned out, we often neglect the basics, sleep, healthy eating, exercise, but these are exactly what your body and mind need right now. Focus on getting enough sleep, eating nutritious meals, and moving your body regularly. Also, try incorporating some relaxation techniques into your day. This could be as simple as taking a few deep breaths when you feel overwhelmed. Our third physical step is implementing regular breaks throughout your day. Our brains aren't designed for nonstop work. Try using techniques like the Pomodoro method. That's where you work for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break. And don't forget to take longer breaks too. Step away from your desk for lunch or take a short walk in the afternoon. These regular pauses can help maintain your focus and prevent burnout from creeping back in. Now that we've addressed the physical aspects of burnout recovery, you might be feeling a bit better already. But here's where it gets really interesting. Did you know that changing your thought patterns can be just as powerful as changing your physical habits? In fact, research shows that our thoughts can directly impact our physical well-being. So let's shift gears and dive into the intellectual aspects of burnout recovery. These next steps might just revolutionize the way you think about work, stress, and your own capabilities. The first and perhaps most crucial intellectual step is to acknowledge the burnout. This might sound simple, but it's vital. Many of us push aside the signs of chronic stress, thinking it's just part of life. But here's the thing, admitting you're experiencing burnout isn't a sign of weakness. It's the first steps toward recovery. Take a moment right now to reflect on how you're feeling. Are you constantly exhausted, feeling cynical about your work? These could be signs of burnout. Next, let's talk about living in alignment with your values. Often, burnout occurs when we're living out of sync with what truly matters to us. Take some time to identify your core values. Do you value creativity, adventure, family time? Now, look at your daily life. Are you honoring these values? If not, start thinking about ways to incorporate them more into your routine. When we live in alignment with our values, life becomes more fulfilling and we're less likely to burn out. Our sixth step is about uncovering the root causes of your burnout. Burnout doesn't just happen overnight. It's often the result of long-standing patterns or unresolved issues. Maybe you tie your self-worth to your work performance, or perhaps you're still trying to meet unrealistic expectations set in your past. Reflecting on these deeper issues now can help prevent burnout from reoccurring in the future. The last intellectual step is establishing boundaries. In our always on culture, it's easy to let work seep into every aspect of our lives. But setting clear boundaries between work and personal time is crucial for long-term well-being. This might mean not checking emails after a certain time or ensuring you take full days off each week to recharge. Remember, it's okay to say no to non-essential commitments. We've exercised our bodies and sharpened our minds, but there's one more crucial piece of the burnout recovery puzzle. It's the part that many of us overlook, 
yet it's often the key to lasting change. I'm talking about our emotional well-being. Did you know that emotionally intelligent people are less likely to experience burnout? In these final steps, we'll explore how nurturing your emotional health can not only help you recover from burnout, but also help build resilience against future stress. Ready to connect with your emotions in a whole new way? Let's start with practicing self-compassion. We tend to be our own harshest critics, right? But right now, you need to be your own best friend. Understand that slowing down isn't a sign of weakness. It's a necessary part of healing. When you catch yourself being self-critical, pause and ask, would I talk to a friend this way if they were in my situation? Trust yourself with the same kindness you'd offer a friend. Next, it's time to bring joy back into your life. When was the last time you did something just because it made you happy? Burnout often strips away our ability to enjoy things. Make a conscious effort to reintroduce activities that bring you joy. It could be a hobby you've neglected, spending time with loved ones, or simply enjoying a quiet moment with a cup of tea. This shift from constant stress to moments of joy is essential for recovery. Practicing mindfulness helps you stay present and aware of your mental and emotional state. This awareness allows you to recognize signs of stress before they escalate into burnout. Try incorporating short mindfulness exercises into your day. Even just a few minutes of mindful breathing can make a big difference. Now that we've explored these 10 steps to recover from burnout, let's take a moment to reflect on our journey. We've covered a lot of ground, from acknowledging burnout to cultivating mindfulness. But remember, this isn't about information. It's about transformation. The key takeaways, first, burnout is not a personal failure, but a sign that something in your life needs to change. Second, recovery is a process that involves both your mind and body. And third, small consistent steps can lead to significant changes over time. So what's your next move? I encourage you to choose just one of these steps to focus on this week. Maybe it's setting a clear boundary between work and personal time. Or perhaps it's reintroducing a hobby that brings you joy. Start small, but start today with the belief that you have the power to reclaim your energy, your passion, and your well-being. You can also check out my courses that are linked in the description that will further help with physical, intellectual, and emotional resilience and burnout. Burnout may be part of your story, but it doesn't have to be the end of it. You've taken the first step by watching this video, and that's huge. Now, keep that momentum going by subscribing to the channel and making sure you do even more to avoid burnout by watching the video on your screen next that'll provide you with more tips and strategies on how to avoid burnout. As you move forward, be patient with yourself. Healing takes time, but every step you take is progress. You're not just recovering from burnout, you're building a more resilient, balanced, and fulfilling life. Thanks for joining me on this journey as we avoid burnout together. I'll see you online soon.